I said I would never live on a farm again, ever. Ever, ever. I would never marry a farmer. I would never move to a farm. And, uh, you know, God has a way of uh, making you laugh at yourself. So um, he Here brought me cr kicking and screaming back to the farm. Well, I'm Lee Funderburg. My husband Olin and I own Stony Creek Farm. It's located in Franklin, Tennessee, uh, toward the west side. I'm sorry, east side. You talk, because I'm not I'm not good at this. We're located on the east side of Highway 65. Well, we started uh, our U Pick Garden uh, six years ago. Yeah. We, it was just simply to help our greenbelt status and to make sure we could maintain that. Uh, I had an uncle that did it for 20 years. We thought, hey, let's try that. There's nothing in really in this area that has you pick vegetables. I grew up on a traditional farm and that's the type of farm he was used to too where we used pesticides and herbicides to control you know the grass and the weeds and pesticides to control the bugs so everything we've learned in the last 11 years is the non-traditional way to farm. We don't use any pesticides. We've learned about beneficial insects and how to attract those into your garden. The beneficials actually come and eat the bad insects. And we share all this in our book and uh, through our sustainable conference. Uh, we actually show you the things that we've learned over 11 years. Uh, and it's been quite a learning experience for us. We started out with all these big ideas and then scaled them back to smaller ideas. Wanted to teach and work with people on how to live a more simple, sustainable lifestyle. Hopefully have less stress and share our experience uh, where we've been in the corporate world and to where we are now. I mean, it's just become a peaceful place for a lot of people to experience, not just picking vegetables, but they're, they're allowed to enjoy the farm if they want to go over and visit the goats and look at the chickens and things like that. We have a playground for the kids. But we realized after that first year that really this is where we felt like God wanted us to be. Coming from where we've come from childhood and younger days, we had nothing. And we've been in the six-figure incomes. We've been on both, you know, both ends of the uh, scale, and I take this life anytime. This is much easier. <laughs> I take this life anytime.